Alright, our next performer is somebody that you all know from Puzzle 7 this morning. Uh, he's a syndicated crossword constructor in 60, 100 newspapers around the country, the Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, Philadelphia Inquirer, New York Observer, and lots of other papers. And here was some games and wordplay, Earl Regal. I can't believe I know what CHUD stands for. <laughs> Cannibalistic, humanoid, underground dwellers. All right! <laughs> Never used in the puzzle. <laughs> well, I uh, just thought I'd uh, do a couple of pun things and a couple of anagram things. Big surprise. <laughs> I'll do the puns first, because more people can do puns than they can do anagrams, so. Um, and I'll have to read, with 600 people in the room, I'm gonna have to kind of read these Shatner-esque, you know, with pauses and... <laughs> uh, an example of this would be like what I did for the New York Times puzzle when the Simpsons movie came out, a uh, Simpsons uh, episode came out. So it'll be things like, um, uh, what famous golfer invented the all-plastic club? And the answer is Arnold Palmer. <laughs> so if you know, you just raise your hand. Or, you know, the only actress who puts up her own posters, Maureen Staplegun, got it? <laughs> <laughs> the first one is, who wrote the trilogy, Rabbit Run, Rabbit Redux, and The Bugs Bunny Story? <laughs> Just John Updock will do it. We'll get to the longer versions later. John Updock wrote the trilogy. He also wrote What's? <laughs> Two. I won't get to the end of this one, so if you just raise your hand as soon as you know. What longtime Cuban leader can really hit the high notes? I'll <laughs> just say it all together then. Fidel Castrado, fine. Fidel Castrado, that's right. Uh, what 19th century British poet was known for constantly asking people to hit a few balls? Anybody? Oh. Yes? Not Longfellow, no. <laughs> Alfred Lord Tennis, anyone, is right. <laughs> he also wrote Idols of the King. Bullshit, bullshit. <laughs> okay. Uh, who was the most aloof and antisocial member of the Plymouth Colony? Yes? Miles Standoffish. Miles Standoffish is correct. <laughs> Who wrote, oh, oh, ouch, ouch, ooch, ooch, pioneers? <laughs> yes. Yes, but in back. Will a catheter is correct. <laughs> Coming to a crossword near you. <laughs> in fact, that's the subtitle of every one of these. <laughs> what famous general? Lost the first really serious pie fight. Yes. George Armstrong Custard is correct. That's where we get the word custardy battle, by the way. That's what it says. This is a three parter. Who wrote the rotting carcass of. Then I'll just spell the last part. Who wrote the rotting carcass of M O B Y D? Uh, yes, in the back. Herman Smellville is correct. <laughs> part two of the same stupid question. Who wrote the underground version of Moby Dick? Yes. Weldell? Uh, yes. Moleville, yes. Herman Moleville wrote the underground version. And who wrote the Moby Dick Cantaloupe Cookbook? Herman Melville is correct. Okay, now, now, now these are the anagrams. I'll, I'll try to make these as easy as possible so you can, you can get them. Same deal, last name, anagrams. Okay? Um, who wrote vague, drug-induced remembrance 
of things past. Marcel Stuber is her. <laughs> Who wrote the Alpine Adventures of Sherlock Holmes? Yodel. Sir Arthur Conan Yodel. That's right. That's where we get Heidi Ho from, too. Most people don't know this. What India-born, and by that I mean born in India, what India-born mind-body author likes to have his veggie burgers delivered by girls on roller skates? Deepak Karhak is her. <laughs> what former late night host is a lot skinnier now? Bonier. Yes, Conan Bonier. I don't think that's even possible, is it? Bank accounts left that though. <laughs> Who wrote The Return of the Native with Nine Heads? Thomas Hyde, of course. What author of Ivanhoe never shaves his lower extremities? I mean his much lower extremities. <laughs> Sir Walter Leg Hair is her. I mean the other guy. Yeah, so Walter Scott wrote that. I was mixing up with the other guy who turns the thing down in the puddle and got the hands <laughs> What guy who made his thing in the puddle and blah 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 didn't change his attorney? Yes. Uh, this is a first name one, so shift gears a little bit. This is a first name guy. What American patriot said, liberty is one of my three goals. Hat Trick Henry is correct. <laughs> Hat Trick Henry, one of my three goals. Oh, oh I, I forgot to give you the category. <laughs> Alright, this is miscellaneous pun. <laughs> miscellaneous pun. In Roman myth, what two lovers commit suicide, the boy by using his own sword, and the girl by being tossed around and caught by dogs in a city park? <laughs> Pyramus and Frisbee is... <laughs> That's all, man. that's it. <laughs>